Hey everyone, welcome to the second part of Cooking with Cashews uh, by Rob and Marvy. So what we're doing is before we even started cooking with the cashews, we had to get them. So Marvy and I grabbed Jackson and decided to go to the beach for a little bit of a swim and then walk over to where the store was and pick up the cashews and then head home. You already saw the first video and now enjoy the second one. Okay, thanks. favorite little place that sells grains and nuts uh, called La Viejeta or um, as they say the little bee. All right. Hola. Como esta guys? Hey, do you have uh, uh, the Nuez de India crudo? Si. Uh, medio kilo. Medio kilo? Si. So these are, uh, believe it or not, this is not something that Marvy made. This is one of the flowers on one of the trees. You can see they're down here. And they're all up there blooming. Wow. And hold it still again. So pretty. A whole bunch of them being collected there. Life in Mexico. This is our neighborhood. Okay, guys, so we are almost, um, well, we did the main dinner. Uh, it was really good. I did need a little bit of salt to it at the end. Uh, but it was very good. Now what I want to do is uh, talk to you guys about making uh, cheese. Now this goes back to what I said earlier about all of the fake uh, meats that, that are on the market today which are loaded with all types of sugars and, and preservatives and some of them aren't but a lot of them are if you look at them. Um, I don't like to think of this product that I'm going to make or the last of dinner as imitating uh, anything. I don't like making hamburgers out of beans or whatever, trying to imitate beef. I just, it's just a different thing. And if you keep that mindset that you're just eating healthy food, um, then you're not disappointed that it doesn't taste just like, I think the new one now is the hamburger that bleeds, you know, they have, it tastes just like meat and all of that. My question is, I don't need it to, you know, I mean, I've adjusted my mind and my taste to a variety of things. Don't get me wrong, a barbecued burger can't be beat. French fries and a tall chocolate milkshake, you know, uh, may not be the best thing for my heart, but sometimes for your soul, every once in a while, if that's the thing that makes you happy, that's great. But it's like anything in excess can kill you. So, okay, so what we're going to do here is the thing about Cheese, uh, I'm gonna call it cheese, it's not cheese, but the idea of it is to take something like this uh, cream, and I'll just put it in here. This is more of that um, cashew cream. This is the stuff I set aside. Um, we need that to solidify with some flavors. Now, generally people like to use that yellow nutritional yeast. You can buy it and sprinkle it on popcorn, uh, put it in whatever. It gives it stuff kind of a yeasty, cheesy flavor. And so people put that in there. I don't necessarily need to do that. Um, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to add into this um, a little bit of garlic, because I like garlic 
And the other thing is we're gonna take half of a jalapeno that's already sacrificed itself and it's all diced up there. And I'm gonna put it in here also, but I'm not gonna put it in yet because I wanna blend that up and get that really warm and creamy. I don't wanna liquefy this and have it all the way through. I like the little chunks. It's just that kind of like, you've got the fat and the sweetness and the flavors of the, the cashew fat and um, the garlic, salt, and pepper. Um, and then sudden, boom, you get this little crispy pop of, of uh, jalapeno. So that's gonna go in almost at the end. And then what we need to do is thicken the whole thing up. Um, and how you do that is you use one of two thickeners that are very popular. If you don't want it really solid, uh, but kind of creamy and kind of uh, gooey and globulous almost. Um, you use tapioca flour uh, or tapioca powder, very finely ground tapioca from the tapioca tree. Um, great, and you know what this is good for is if you take that and maybe exactly what I'm doing now, but you take it and then you put it on the stove and cook it till it's boiling and add some tapioca until it starts to thicken, add more till it gets really stringy, stringy. Put it in the refrigerator and cut it into little cubes. Man, that is the best thing for pizza. So if you uh, have an allergy to milk, lactose intolerant, whatever, and you really miss cheese on pizza, you can do this. Just throw different things in for the flavoring you want. And the thing is, it's really mostly fat anyway. Mozzarella doesn't have a tremendous amount of flavor when you put the cheese on. It's that salt and fat combination and how it interacts with the acidity of the pasta sauce, the marinara sauce, that gives it that balance and that flavor. And this stuff does the same thing. So you can make this gooey, sticky uh, stuff uh, like a mozzarella cheese, even if it's almost in a semi-liquid form, you just splatter it on the pizza and it works fantastic. But we're actually gonna use agar agar. I don't know why they say agar agar, why they say mahi mahi. I remember when I was young, I didn't have a lot of money and I wanted a fish dinner. I couldn't afford the whole thing, so I, I couldn't get mahi mahi, I just got mahi. That's a joke. Anyway, so agar agar, what is agar agar? We're gonna boil this stuff up and this is nothing more than, it's like tapioca, only it doesn't come from a tree. It's an algae. And this becomes more gelatinous, more uh, firm, almost like a jello. Well, it's like a jello uh, essentially, but it's an algae. It's not made from the hoof of a, of a or anything like that. Very fine, very healthy. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm just gonna boil this. You don't really need to watch that. It's not that interesting. I'm gonna boil it in maybe half a cup of water until it starts to change color and then it starts to boil and then it becomes clear again. It's important to boil it till it turns clear. Once I do that, I'm gonna add it to this mixture and then we're gonna put it into a bowl, stick it in the refrigerator, and in theory, if we turn it upside down, it'll come out as kind of a nice cheese round that we can slice up and eat by itself. So we'll see how that goes, okay? So let's get going, and uh, I'm gonna boil this, and when it's ready, we'll add it to that. Uh, I, gotta guess, I guess I gotta clean up first and put more water in. Okay, we'll see when we come back with the uh, agar that's been boiled. Okay, so I have, you can't really see it, but I have the agar agar going. So I'm gonna start blending this and then we're gonna add it to it and blend it up. Throw a little bit more pepper in there for a little flavor. And once that's all blended up, I believe it is. At the last minute, I'm gonna throw, at the last minute, I'm gonna throw in these jalapenos just for a second to blend them and chop them just a little bit. All right, here we go. And that's it. And then I just add this whole concoction uh, into a jar or into a bowl. And that worked out just about perfect. 
Now we just put this in the refrigerator and as a trick of modern science and film editing, if it doesn't turn out, you will never see this part of the video. I'll just edit it out. It's as if it never happened. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and then uh, give it about an hour or two and then unmold it to see if it works. Okay, that's it. We'll see you in about an hour or two. Ciao. Okay, guys, we are done with the, what we call cheese, but we know it's not cheese. And uh, it's been setting up a little bit. So let's see um, if it works here. Ah, it's set up, so. There it is, ha ha. And there is, it went from being a, um, uh, uh, cream to being a very thick uh, type of a hard substance. We don't know quite what it is, but we will try it. So I'm gonna just cut a piece of it like you would cutting cheese. That would be the next question for Arina. Uh, cutting cheese, what does that mean? All right, so here, there's my I know I'm gonna drop it, but I'll hold it. You can see the little bits of um, jalapeno in there. And I don't think I added enough salt. So I honestly don't think this is gonna be the cat's meow, number three, uh, for the cheese. But we will give it a taste test. It actually has great consistency. So let's give her a go. Actually, you know, that's not bad. It doesn't taste like cheese. Um, it tastes kind of like um, a creamy jalapeno garlicky spread in, in a kind of a cheese form, but it's absolutely delicious. It's really good. I'm surprised. And as always, if you like it, please subscribe. Which one is this one? Oh yeah. And then be sure to like it if you like it, okay? And um, finally, if you'd like to know when the videos come out, you can hit this little bell right here. Uh, and this will let you know whenever we have a new um, video posted. So, um, and again, if you make recipes like this, if you try it and you like it or you'd like to change it, um, or anything that I discuss in these videos, uh, or you want us to do something different in a video while I'm in Mexico, um, let us know in the comments below. So please uh, make some comments, okay? Otherwise, thanks a lot for your time and we'll see you next week.